Well, ABC News has been hit with a cease and desist letter after the hosts of The View made defamatory, according to the letter, remarks against conservative organization Turning Point USA. Turning Point held a student action summit over the weekend in Tampa, Florida, where neo-Nazis protested outside. Turning Point tweeted that students at the summit confronted the neo-Nazis and security tried to remove the protesters but were not able to due to them actually protesting on public property outside the building. The conservative group Turning Point USA has condemned the group of neo-Nazis and said they have nothing to do with the organization. Yeah, but where was DeSantis is what I want to know. But you let the them in. President, open your you let door. them in and you knew what they were. Right. So you are complicit. We'll be right back. Whoops. <laughs> There's Maybe. the overstep, Whoopi. Yeah, that's, uh, well, now I More get like where the whoopsie. defamatory language came <laughs> right. out. Yeah. Uh, the New York Post uh, points out that the cease and desist letter stated that these remarks were harmful to TPUSA's reputation and brought the organization and its student affiliates into disrepute with the public, potential donors, and current and future business partners, posing a significant financial loss to the organization. ABC News was given until July 27th to retract and apologize, according to the letter. Here's the View's apology. So on Monday, we talked about the fact that there were openly neo-Nazi demonstrators outside the Florida Student Action Summit of the Turning Point USA group. We want to make clear that these demonstra demonstrators were gathered outside the event and that they were not invited or endorsed by Turning Point USA. A Turning Point USA spokesman said the group quote, 100% condemns those ideologies and said Turning Point USA Security tried to remove the neo-Nazis from the area but could not because they were on public property. Also, Turning Point USA wanted to clarify, uh, wanted us to clarify that this was a Turning Point USA summit and not a Republican Party event. So we apologize for anything we said that may have been unclear on these points. Hmm. Unclear, well, untrue. I mean, Look, that was a correct character. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know what you were going to say, but I, I was just going to say that uh, maybe they got briefed wrongly. That's a that is a, a, a example of where you yell at your producer, be like, "Why did you Why did you tell me it was inside or apply to me?" And or Whoopi just, just got it really Whoopi wrong. I don't know. Whoopi seemed to be going rogue there yeah. at the end because I think all of the stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm only just watching it the once, but. It did seem like most of the other stuff was just identifying that they were there, having your opinions about why these groups are going outside and, and, yeah. and attending these kind of things on the outside is, a, I think, a p completely legitimate line of Well, inquiry. but I think about the line about why didn't DeSantis say anything was, was right. suggesting that maybe they thought they were there as Fair part enough. maybe the view was maybe Fair they enough. thought and were suggesting that the group was there as part of the Fair event. Enough. But this, this is my continual issue with the left. Even when you have kind of a slam dunk, they're frequently overcharging people with more than they can actually get stick. I think it's enough to raise the question of why one's politics attract from time to time a certain element outside, mm -hmm. right? If I were throwing events and Nazis kept showing up at my events, I would at least ask myself the question, Brianna, what am I doing? Is it just that I'm well? <laughs> my my spider cupcakes look a little too much like swastikas, and maybe I should do a redesign. I don't know. I'm saying it would it trigger some thought, and I think it's perfectly legitimate to ask why these kinds of groups see allyship, like why white supremacists, Nazis, whatever, seem to see allyship in certain sectors of the conservative sphere, as opposed to on the left. However. Even when you have an opportunity to kind of draw those kind of inferences, you get instances like this where ultimately becomes a conservative win because they overreached. You get kooky people showing up to leftist events, do you not? It happens. I don't think it happens. I think and it again, happens at all political events where you get right, left, everything. You get some fringy people. I don't recall. I remember there was one event in the context of the Bernie campaign where someone brought a swastika to an event. And it was someone antagonizing Bernie Sanders, a Jewish man, with a swastika. Maybe, maybe you don't get the you same know? kooks, but you do get... Well, the, the quality of kook matter, does it not? I would expect some maybe... Look, I'm, the, the, the baseball game famously where Congress members were shot, that person had a weird mixed up ideology. And some of it was he liked Bernie Sanders. He liked some conservatives. He liked a lot of different kinds he of people. He was a big Bernie fan. Yeah, I'm not was, saying that's Bernie's but fault, he, he but although the left liked, tends to try to make this accusation. But. but he also said he liked a lot of other people on the political spectrum. It was it was a mixed bag. 
But that's, I think, a different kind of a thing. Someone doing something well, that's a violent bad, person, taking a violent but... action who has some political ideology is a different kind of thing than a whole political movement, an ideological movement, seeing themselves associated in you. And I, and I don't think you can see someone like uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'm sorry, whatever you think about this, self-identifying as a, a Christian nationalist, a term, even if she is not aware of the history of that term, it's a term that has a history very closely associated with the Nazi party and explicit white nationalism, and not start to draw some conclusions about why it is, whether or not you're intentionally signaling to white nationalist groups, that white nationalist groups see you as their ally. And you and I both know that we can go on Reddit and go on these social media forums and see members of these hate groups gleeful that they think they're getting nods here and there from whether it's Donald Trump or other members of the Republican Party. Not all members of the Republican Party, but there's a lot of winking and nodding going on. And if there were a group, from my perspective, who said, oh, I think Brianna endorses my policies, I would be concerned about that and be working overtime to try to distance myself. I think myself. it's actually the opposite of that, because aren't they, they're, they're protesting in part because they don't think this organization the Nazis are there protesting in part because they don't like the direction this organization has taken because they don't because perceive they it to be, because they not. want it to be Nazi, but it's not. I mean, that is, that is some useful nuance. Are they showing up at Planned Parenthood asking why it's not more Nazi-ish? Are, I mean, are well, they showing up at Greenpeace asking why it's not more Nazi-ish? I mean, I've, de I've like, definitely... I'm not saying it's TPUSA's fault. Yeah. I, you know, I, if I thought that TPUSA were literal Nazis, I wouldn't have gone and debated Charlie Kirk at TPSU, TPUSA headquarters, yeah. right? Like, that's not the issue. But you don't think that there's any, any reason to be concerned that there is a lobbying effort that Nazis want to lobby your organization to be more accommodating to them? They're protesting the organization. Yeah, lobbying. I mean, in your own words, you just said because they're not right up. They're trying to lobby it to get more conservative, I don't more think na white nationalist. I think there's very little danger of literal Nazis taking over Turning Point, or which is not, a, you know, not an organization I've been associated with, or, or I, I probably have many differences with Charlie Kirk and a lot of the people associated with it, but any more than like the Nation of Islam is about to take over democratic activists. I mean, I've seen plenty of those people at plenty of marches for various- Where, where, where have you seen the Nation of Islam lobbying the women's for march, some- The women's well, pro march, the, at protest events, they no, march that, alongside- No, the accusation at the women's march was that one of the organizers happens to be sympathetic to yeah, well, that's Farrakhan. a more direct connection than we can right, find it here. Wasn't, it wasn't like a, a phalanx of na a nation of uh, Islam protesters arguing for the women's march. Well, how to... much was a, it was a phalanx? How many? I, mean, I would love to see how many actual Nazi people were standing outside this building. Was Look, it like I, again? Was it hundreds or was I, it six? I, I, I bet I'm it's not, closer to six. I, well, it's a little more than six. But I'm not interested in again overcharging TPUSA with yeah. anything that that it is as of. All I'm saying is, I personally would ask why it is that people from a group that I don't feel any affinity for feel that they have any access to me, any right, any would have any success in arguing that I should move farther in their direction when I am already, in my view, so diametrically uh, opposed to everything that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. And instead of simply raising those kind of hypotheticals, Tucker Carlson is very good at this. He doesn't make a lot of specific claims. He will just ask the questions of, does this make sense to you? I think that the view would have been much safer just staying in this realm of it's it's interesting that these people keep showing up at these kinds of events instead of trying to make these direct claims that obviously weren't true. Well, <laughs> certainly because they had they had to <laughs> make that apology and clarification, but they might have opened them out, themselves up to some kind of a uh, suit because that was a factual assertion yeah. uh, that Whoopi was making there. Now, uh, you know, it, it, she could have claimed she did, didn't know, and it would still be a very complicated and convoluted legal matter, but uh, you don't want to end up there, so you good, don't want to end up there. To, good of them to say they're sorry. Maybe they can be a little little bit more careful in the future and uh, a lesson to all of us who, maybe they who just a... spout off on, uh, on a yeah, TV look, shows about things to be cautious about maybe, our remarks. Maybe they should have some of the protesters on. I'm sure that'll work out well for everybody involved. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would make for good TV. Good TV. That's all that matters, good TV. <laughs> more Rising right after this.